kiss for you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part nine of my video series on Cinch app calling app to app calling using Firebase in Android Studio. Alright, guys. So in this video, I am going to write the code for uh, the calling, so the user will be able to call the Firebase user. So let's get started. So as you can see, I have written the code for the incoming call. So whenever there will be the incoming call, so there the other dialog box will be opened, and the user will be able to either reject or pick the call. all right so how can we do that let me first of all see yes okay so inside your uh, all users adapter class uh, and here you can see we have this item view so but here we also have the button for the call so here we can say button dot set on click listener and we can have this new on click listener and here what we can do is we can write the code for the the call so first of all we will get the the user which the user wants to call i mean the recipient user so for that let me first of all see okay so here we can uh, call the method from this uh okay so first of all let me open this main activity and here we can create a, a method for the public void call user okay and it will have this user object and so how we can call this method from the adapter so there is a method so here we can say main activity and inside that we can pass the context and we can say dot call user and how can we get the user so we can say user user equal to and here we have this array user array list dot get and here we can pass the get adapter position and now we can simply uh, we have called the user and we can pass this object inside this so here we can easily call this method and what this method will do is it will call it will make the request for the call so here we can check if the call sorry if call is equal to null then we can say call equal to since client dot get call client dot call user and inside that we can pass the user dot get user id all right and then we can uh, say call dot add call listener and we can simply say new since call listener all right and after that what we can do is here we can now open the dialog so we can simply say open caller dialog and we can pass the current or uh, i mean the call object and inside this open caller object method sorry open caller uh, dialog so here we first of all need to make it final and inside this method we first of all can say alert dialog call equal to new alert dialog and we can say dot builder and here we can pass main activity dot this and we finally can say dot create all right and then we can say alert dialog call dot set title and we can 
uh, set the title as alert then we can say alert dialog call dot set message and we can print the message as calling and then we can say alert dialog call dot set button and here we can say alert dialog dot button neutral and then we can say hang up and here we have uh, we need to have the new dialog on click event and inside this on click method we are going to uh, hang up the call so we can say dialog interface dot dismiss and finally we can just hang up all right and after this we can now uh, show the alert dialog so we can say alert dialog call dot show all right guys so that was the method so here let me also toast a message and we can say error and what will be the error we can just toast this message and we can show it all right guys so i think that is now enough the our app is now complete so let me just run the app and let's see if it works or not so uh, in my previous video we had created this user so i will create another user this time and we will see if this uh, android user one is being shown on the recycler view or not alright guys so now the app is again running and here it is saying for the email and the password so first of all let's register and let me write user2 and let's enter the email as user2 at gmail.com then we enter password 1234567 and now I click on register and now you can see that our app is crashed so in order to see what happened so we can just check the crashing point of where our app crashed okay i think it is not shown so let me first of all see so here we have this user uh, and also it is the user is successfully created but it crashed I think in the main activity so let me just uh, okay just uh, we now need to sign in so we can say user2 at gmail.com then we enter the password as one two three four five six seven eight and we click on login so here now we can see the error i mean the app is crashed so let's see okay so here it is saying that we need to enable the user permission of access network state so let's enable the permission User permission access network state and then we will be requiring some other uh, user permissions so let's have them so here we can say use this permission and record audio then we need the user permission read phone state then finally we need access network state read phone state then we need to have the modify audio settings so we can say modify audio settings all right guys so now we try to run it again and let's see what happens and now the app is running let me again 
login user to add gmail.com and let's set the password as one two three four five six seven eight and we try to log in and now you can see that here uh, there are uh, these are the users which we have and here we have this logout button but if we want to call this android user one so we will just click on call and you can see app is again crashed so let's see what is this issue so here you can see we uh, need to enable the runtime permission since i have this audio record audio so what we can do is we can okay so let's just close that and let's go to app settings and enable the user permission so here audio where is this audio caller here we have this audio caller and we need to say uh, enable the permissions and now we again need to log in so here we have I have a lot of apps on my phone so okay so here we have this audio caller so let me again write user to add gmail dot com and let's set the password as one two three four five six seven eight and now we try to log in and here you can see uh, okay so here now we have these two users and if I click on this user and here you can see alert so calling all right call ended I mean why the uh, the call is being ended here because the other user is not there okay it is he is uh, not uh, uh, logged in so that's why the call was ending so here you can see so guys i hope that you have understood how to create the app to app calling using firebase and cinch sdk so guys that was the last part so if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye